Have you noticed how pop music is being talked about more and more these days in piano teaching? Improvisation, composition, creativity and pop are quickly becoming the new buzzwords. But is the reasoning behind them pedagogically sound? If you've got teens or adults in your studio, you've probably started wondering about whether pop music really is just a waste of time or whether there's merit in breaking with tradition and teaching music that resonates most deeply with some of your students. Hi, my name's Tim Topham and I'm a music educator from Melbourne, Australia. And I'm gonna be discussing this very topic in my presentation, Pop Music, Time Waster or Student Saver, at this year's online Music Ed Connect conference, which you don't even have to leave home to attend. If you've ever wondered about the benefits of including pop music in your studio, of allowing students to explore music that resonates most closely with them, or of expanding your own teaching strategies to include a greater focus on chords and progressions and creativity, then this is the workshop for you. And don't worry, I would never advocate a pure pop diet, and I certainly don't expect you to change your whole teaching method. Rather, I want you to consider the impact of giving students greater ownership of the content of their lessons, of looking at music more structurally, and of exploring the modern language of pop in an open and exploratory manner. Join me on Thursday the 4th of February at 3.15pm Central Time to find out more about this topic and take away some concrete ideas to use in your lessons. It may be just the thing you need to inspire your teaching and just the thing your studio needs to stand out from the crowd. Head to musicedconnect.com to register and I'll see you online.